It's the largest release of methane in California history. A giant stream of climate warming methane gas is blowing hundreds of feet into the air in Los Angeles County and no one can stop it. A giant stream of potent climate warming gas methane is blowing hundreds of feet into the air in Los Angeles County for the seventh week now. Pilots flying low have been told by the FAA to stay clear of the plume for fear of ignition. More than 1800 families have sought relocation due to the vapours. Southern California Gas Company officials say it will be months before it can be stopped. Authorities estimate the rupture in the well, perhaps more than a mile deep, is sending 100,000 pounds of methane into the air per hour. The weather has gone mad. Warm temperatures being broken in the UK, Europe and US as daffodils bloom in December. December is set to be the warmest on record along with 2015 which is set to be the warmest year on record. It's an inconvenient truth but December is set to be the warmest on record across the UK and many parts of Europe as the jet stream is stuck above the UK and it is sucking warm air from northern Africa bringing balmy temperatures more accustomed to early May than December. Yesterday here in Holland just north of Amsterdam I enjoyed temperatures hovering around 18 degrees centigrade or around 65 degrees Fahrenheit in old money. Uncanny when you realize the average temperature here for this time of the year is 5 degrees centigrade or 41 degrees Fahrenheit. Across the pond it's the same story with no sign of the polar vortex which devastated the US just one year ago when parts of America was colder than Mars. Another deadly super typhoon smashes into the Philippines this week. 750,000 people had to be evacuated from the path of the deadly typhoon as it smashed into the Philippines. The typhoon with winds of up to 150 km per hour or 95 miles per hour made landfall this week dumping heavy rain that caused flooding and landslides. El Nino is thought to be responsible for record-breaking early summer temperatures in Adelaide as the mercury is set to hit 42 degrees centigrade or 108 degrees Fahrenheit. More red tide horror stories surfacing from the Gulf of Mexico dead birds found along the beaches of Biloxi and other coastal cities along with dead fish. Humans warned it can be fatal. The latest horror story to unfold is what is described as a frightening sight by MS News as first fish now dozens of birds found dead along the coast of Biloxi and other coastal cities in the region. Mount Bromo is on the verge of a huge eruption after coughing volcano ash three kilometers into the Indian, Indonesian sky. Sorry. Located in the Tengger Massif in East Java, the Bromo volcano began erupting in early December. El Nino, there's that name again, thought responsible for a tornado destroying a Sydney suburb this week with 213 km per hour winds and cricket ball sized hailstones. Social media was swamped by pictures of the huge dark storm as it engulfed the harbour city plunging a 23 sorry a 25 degree celsius 77 degree fahrenheit summer's day 
into darkness. The large hail damaged cars, smashed windows and tore shop awnings and yacht sails to shreds. Some 6,000 homes were reportedly without power south of the city and rescue services received more than 200 calls for help in the city. I emailed all my relatives and friends who live in Sydney and every one of them said the storm passed right over them. Just my luck, I suppose. A magnitude 6.6 .6 quake in Mexico is the fourth major quake of December. It is also the 141st major quake of 2015. This year's total amount could be, or probably will be, the smallest total for a year, for a very long time. I don't know exactly how long, I'll have to check that out. Avian flu is suddenly and silently on the rise around the world. Here are just a few quick statistics for you. Tens of thousands of birds have been culled just this month alone. 20,000 chickens and 10,000 ducks in Taiwan. A new outbreak in France for the first time in six years. 13,000 birds in Germany. 70,000 in South Korea. 5,000 in Ghana and another 40,000 in Vietnam and the first human case this year was reported in China. A magnitude 6.2 Vanuatu is the fifth major earthquake of December and the 142nd of this year. An avalanche buries houses on the Svalbard archipelago in the heart of the Norwegian Arctic. It's complete chaos here, a witness said. Rescuers, police and residents were using spades to clear houses buried under the thick layer of snow in the hope of finding the missing. People all over the world are, or soon will be, feeling the effects of El Nino. It will be the strongest El Nino since 1997-98, probably even stronger. We have already seen record heat waves in Australia, South Africa, Indonesia and Zimbabwe. This week warm records were smashed in the UK, parts of Europe and parts of the US. Record rainfall is expected for the west coast of the US. We could all be in for a roller coaster winter. Well, time will tell. Thanks for watching, and I hope I'll see you all next week.